Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. It's Halloween or it's actually coming. It's coming tomorrow and um, stay tuned for several things. Tomorrow there's going to be a huge Halloween haul because there's some stuff I've been planning to go shop, buy and prepare. So stay tuned for that. Uh, for those of you who have followed or follow me already, my channel, um, <laughs> this is so funny. I just did the Kanye West uh, Yeezy season one collection yesterday talked about this piece and said don't ever wear it naked well I did in the end, but I'm not gonna show the side just the front because I needed to contrast this gorgeous blood necklace now What is happening here? I'm going to show you my favorites for Halloween my kind of luxury and non-luxury favorites for Halloween this season So let's get started first of all the pumpkin of course it has to go. I mean it's always Halloween related. Everything that's Halloween is pumpkin. I love the color orange in general. So this goes. So this is for the house. Now let's put this down. Oh dear, I'm breaking everything. Um, hat wise, I am a huge fan of New Era caps. Now it doesn't always have to be Jeremy Scott. In this case, it's a regular New Era cap. I got this in New York at the New Era um, flagship store. It's called the Zombie Trapper. Look how gorgeous this is. It has brains on the inside and on the side. You can open it up and you have this whole kind of zombie hat with this ghoulish green and brains looking out the stitching. It's very, very well done. Love this hat. And the ear, you can even take it off. So you have a kind of a Velcro ear situation there. I love this piece. That's an option, that's one of my favorites. And moving on, if you want it to be Jeremy Scott for New Era, I think this pink kind of Flintstone-y bone inspiration is also a great alternative, great option. This is how it looks on. Otherwise, we could move to skeletons. This is another cap I love. So actually all three of them, I just don't know how to insert all of them in just like a day. Well, maybe I'll just wear this one today and then the pink one in, I don't know, the evening and then the green one for Halloween night. Moving on, my favorite shoes for the occasion. The hair is all messed up. Well, it is Halloween. I'll let it be messed up. The shoes, of course, again, my favorite one for Halloween is Jeremy Scott and this is the Mad Balls uh, Attitude by Jeremy Scott. This one came out last winter or let's say November a year ago. They're still my favorite Jeremy Scott for Adidas sneaker. Loving them. The Mad Balls uh, toys from the 80s are the inspiration here. The original used to have the original. The prototype had a Mad Balls head. That didn't go into production. They kind of cheaped out a little bit with this tongue, but I guess they made it more available for grown-ups like me. So this is my shoe, my favorite Halloween shoe of the year. It wins again. It won last year. It wins this year too. Moving on to some luxury items. I am a huge fan of Chanel, as you obviously know by now. And um, these are my favorite Chanel bat sunglasses. Are they focusing? You could see they have the shape of bat wings. Um, Karl Lagerfeld was inspired by Edward Melkarth's uh, sunglasses made for Vampira and then for Beggy Guggenheim as butterfly shapes a bit thicker but this is the bat these glasses are called the bat and they are in black acetate with gold trimming on top and then they have like a double C in the, on the back of the temple let's put them on ready for ghoulish Halloween with uh, the matching hat. Kind of matching. Well, anyway. Okay, that's an option. Favorites, favorite sunglasses for Halloween, absolutely. Then moving on, again, Chanel, um, the double C. Now, how can a double C be Halloween? It can, because this little piece from the Metier Da Collection 2010, um, this is the Paris Shanghai collection and what is halloween -y about this brooch, I think I have to stand up for it, is the fact that the, the double C, these are all dragon scales. So because Shanghai was inspiration, there's a lot of dragon skin and dragon scales going on. So this is a dragon scaled double C Chanel brooch with hand inserted um, enamel drops. So that is 
the Chanel part. Oh, there's also H&M going on focus. We got socks. <laughs> I, I've, so, I've shown these in a haul video some time ago. I'm going to be wearing these for Halloween. Perfume, I already, well, check out in the review section up above my incense. Um, um, Avignon uh, Comme des Garçons perfume, very incense -y, deep, intense. This is very Halloween for me, very ritualistic and exorcistic kind of. If not, Sandalo by Lorenzo Villoresi. Love this one as well. Pure sandalwood. It's, it's, like, it's like smelling through ghosts. Then the bags, these are packed because I have to unpack them. This is how I store them. This is also interesting for you to see. This is how I store my bags when I don't use them in like these plastic bags because I want to protect them from dust and dirt. Jeremy Scott for Longchamp, the Monster Mad Ball bag, the yellow one, and then we have the Mad Ball kind of zombie ghoul bag here as well. This is also very Halloween for me. Not, you know, I don't wear these things just for Halloween, obviously. My favorite top, and I'll be wearing it tomorrow to go shopping and out and about in the city, is this Jeremy Scott for Adidas ghost ghoulish it could be an alien could be a ghost it could be munch scream you know like like that uh this sweater i have a large this is from a couple of seasons ago and my favorite events for uh, the holly uh, the hollywood no the halloween this season are the jeremy scott for adidas bone pants they're like regular track pants by adidas but with the addition of the bones kind of flintstoney looking as well so basically I've covered it all. Like you have like the total look, everything like you need for your ghoulish Halloween is there, except for this gorgeous <laughs> bracelet, um, bracelet, <laughs> necklace uh, that that looks like blood you've been cut through. I love, 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 love this necklace. It's kind of rubber and it has a little metal attachment in the back and you can attach it or detach it. You can't detach it now. But anyway, that's how it looks. So, these are my favorites for this Halloween. I hope you enjoyed my little run through and um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more. Love you, bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So come on over guys and join the fun.